Of all my watches, my Casio F91W is my favorite. So when its band began to crack, I was devastated? Ah, devastated. Yeah, makes more sense. My old friend needed some new life, but can I trust 3D printing to fix what has broken? The answer is yes. Yes, I can. It worked. Version 1 of this watch band was a little too thick, and because of that, I needed to cut a slit into the other side of the strap to let the peg go through. Basically, the peg needed to be slightly taller. And overall, it was a kind of bland design. Needed some customization. Back to the drawing board. And by drawing board, yes, I do mean on shape. Fix version 2 was where I dialed in some of the flaws in version 1 and noticed where other changes needed to be made. The text looked better printed directly on the build plate, so Strelco needed to be moved. I needed to get rid of one more hole and shift the project date over so that when we fold and sew the strap on later, it will still be visible. And then I'd like to try printing with my blue flex material instead of this white. I'm currently printing what I hope to be the last iteration of the watch strap. So from earlier clips, we've seen that the first version was this 2mm thick extrusion where I had to cut a slit on to let the peg go through. Then the second iteration was this thinner one without the slit, and then we made the peg taller and because it was thinner and made it a lot easier to go right through. This version we also tried a dual extrusion to make the text we added stand out. Through this version I quickly realized adding the text directly touching the build plate makes it look a lot better than this. So the next version, I did exactly that, and the finish looks a lot nicer. We'll consider this the top part of the strap that gets shown the most when I wear it. Playing around, I thought to do two pegs. Because I'm the only person wearing this watch, I'm going to wear it at pretty much the same size every time. So I thought, why not use two pegs to close up my watch? and completely avoid needing to print this piece that holds my watch strap down similar to on a belt. These pieces dig a little bit into my skin. It's not completely uncomfortable, but it's not necessarily ideal. So I'm trying a version where the pegs are flat on the top and that's what's currently printing behind me to see if this is more comfortable to wear and is still easy to push through the holes on the strap. And if this works, this is our final version, and we'll put it right on the watch. I just took the flat one off the build plate. My TPU is a bit stringy, I need to get a dryer. Let's try it out. Wow, if anything, that was easier to push through the hole. Nice, okay. I think this is it. Yeah, that's actually really comfortable. So why I made them flat is because I'd like to leverage the nice surface texture of printing directly onto the build plate as the outside part of the watch. The pegs would be in contact with my skin when I wear it. And so having them stick out rounded like this creates over time more discomfort on my wrist. Making them flat makes it a lot comfier for longer wear time since I do wear I watch like all day. I also quite enjoy how the blue TPU here matches some of the blue accents on the Casio face. I mean, not exactly, but close enough. First, I needed to fold over the top skinny piece and sew it closed to create a loop for the rod to go through and attach the straps to the watch. Could I have modeled and 3D printed a channel for the rods? Yes, for sure I could have. The channel would have been fairly small to print, and I would have probably needed to open it back up using a tool. 
Regardless, I like how the thread accents look. I actually picked yellow and red threads to match the other colors on the watch face. I thrifted the thread I'm using and it's more durable than your average thread. It seems to be coated in something and it's made for quilting. After sewing, I attached the larger strap with the original strap rod. Unfortunately, I lost the other one, so I used a piece of hookup wire as a makeshift rod to attach the shorter strap. And we're back in business. Welcome back, my old friend. 